Warriors, we are back in the building. You are now tuned into the recap with the Goodfellas Show 2023. What's going on, man? More fire, more classic episodes. Why wouldn't it be? It's your boy Tommy Guns, alongside the homie Sean Montana. What up? Y'all already know it's Hoodrich Hendrix, baby. AEP presents Dav Noble, photographer extraordinaire, doing his thing behind the lens. What's going on, man? Yo, what's good? Recap family, we in the building 2023. Let's make it happen. Uh huh. The voice of the streets himself, Karev Yav, heritage hip hop, always represent for the culture. What's good? Peace and blessings. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share because you'll return to the bad guys table and we serve nothing but hood rich entertainment. Salute. Uh huh. Shout out to everybody tuned in right now. Shout out to the homie Big A. He will be in the building in just a few minutes. He's off doing Goodfellas things. You already know how that go. And of course, salute as always to Beyond Mayhem Media's Sajin behind the boards doing what he does, making the show look so official. All right, so now that we got the introduction out the way, you know how we do another show, more classic shit. We in the building. And man, as always, there's crazy shit going on in the world. There's a lot of stuff we got to talk about. But you know what? It's time for one of our favorite segments here on the Recap with the Goodfellas show. I think you already know what this next segment is. It's another segment of Ask the Goodfellas. And this week, we have a question. Of course, it's a relationship question. For some reason, we get a lot of relationship questions. Come it's on. all good. So let me see. This question is from Diamond from Facebook. Ooh. And she says, so I've been kicking it with this dude for a few weeks now. I am not Ooh. a fan of condoms. And of course, neither is he. How long do you guys think is safe and socially acceptable to wait before we stop using condoms altogether? Good fellas, what do you think? Huh? That is quite an interesting question, Diamond. Question. My my question is: mm -hmm. Are you willing to be a parent with that dude? Straight up, because if you gonna go, if you he mm -hmm. better be he better be worth the risk. Because listen, yeah. <laughs> but you but you know, know you know what, Dad? Th this is the thing. Um. Well, when I first saw the question, it made me, you know, I was thinking, I was starting to process the question. And then I realized our generation and the newer generation coming up, we are not on the same page at time. Listen, now, when we, when we get, were growing up, right? That. Yeah, now, when we, when we were growing up, it was kind of like, you know, between the advertising and just, you know, our, our elders telling us like, yo, strap up do this like no stds like it's real out here aids was still kind of a thing of course you know pregnancies and all that i feel like our generation we kind of for the most part got the message that at some point we should strap up uh, uh, however uh. not now being a parent and listening and then having friends who are parents and their kids being teenagers <laughs> and some of them are like almost in their 20s it i realized just by listening to their stories and whether it's social media, whatever, like it's a different generation. The younger generation, they're not seriously, they're not even strapping up and protect protection and all that shit. Like it's actually not as big to them as it was our generation. So before we yeah, get into it, I, I was just that was just raised by like people ten years older. Yeah, yeah. Before. Unfortunately they were raised by us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, it's, it's not. I mean, yeah, look, but, that but, might... but but let's be honest, Dad, is, is is that facts or not? I'm I'm being I'm saying I, it's you don't need to have a generation gap to not be stupid. Like I'm sorry, like yo, we just had a bunch of people dying from a daggone virus like two years, like yo, like it's not it ain't safe. Yo, like, monkey pox was a thing. <laughs> Like, bro, you already know like, something was like, fucked up. Here's the thing. There's still AIDS. There's still STD. There's still all this stuff. And there's even more stuff out there because, you know what I mean? So I look at it like this. You know what I mean? If to ask that question, like, is that your dude? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, are you dating? Are y'all like in some kind of a relationship? Like, let's start there. Like, at first, if you're going to put yourself at risk, and whether, whether you, you, know, you believe in wait until Matt, like all that stuff, all that stuff aside, like, let's just be real. Mm -hmm. 
you can get pregnant and they making laws that's making it harder for you to ditch that if that's what you choose to do, whether okay. I agree with that or not. You gotta be smart. Like, because I don't know how many times I've dealt with people who wind up having kids with bums. Like, whether it be dudes, <laughs> like, yo, dudes who have kids with bum girls and then get mad when they want child support, but you ain't want to be with them, you just want to smash. It's like, yeah, but now you stuck. And now you got a kid. And that could, and like, that kid ain't, you know, don't deserve to be in the middle of this nonsense. But my thing is this, you just, you just gotta think it through, man. Like, it's, if you're not willing to be, like, if that's not your dude, if you got some standards. Well, let, let's <clears throat> assume the, the vibe I was getting from this question is that they were together. So nah, let, they, that, let, see, let's go, let's go off that premise as if they're together. Like, basically, like, what, what I was getting is that they're with somebody that just started going together or being whatever it is they do. How long once you're in a relationship do you wait before you possibly, you know, take off the I rubber? Mean, I think that de it depends on your personal standards, man. Like, I, it's hard for me to answer that for everybody. Like, mm -hmm. to me, I always say you got to be safe because mm -hmm. if you're doing, if you're doing stuff with, with a rubber on right now, there's a reason why you're doing it. So, you know what I'm saying? There's a reason why you're doing it to begin. Mm -hmm. So if now all of a sudden you just want to stop, okay, everything, everything that you were protecting yourself from before, now mm -hmm. you're not. And now you're adding extra worry and stuff on top. So what I say, like you said, we're a generation apart. What I say and how I feel is coming from a different, I guess, a different mm -hmm. perspective. But I still feel like Common sense is common sense. If you go yeah. and protect yourself, like if I got a gun, there's a safety on a gun for a reason. You know okay. what I mean? You take the safety off the gun, and if you pull the trigger, you know what I'm saying? You better be willing to deal with the consequences. Eventually, you'll be with a person that you won't ask the question. You'll mm -hmm. just kind of vibe. But if you ask them the question now, you got hesitation. If you got hesitation, Think it through a couple more steps. That's what I'm gonna say. I can't put a timeline on that, but um, just think it through. But, a couple but more let, steps. let's talk. Let's talk ballpark figures. Especially some of us were we're married or in, in long term relationships. At some point, it went from point A to point B. So, are we thinking what three months, six months? Hypothetically speaking, I mean, there's no right. You know, three months, six months. Realistically ballpark figure because it says socially acceptable is you have to get months... that but see that's the thing you asking what's socially acceptable that means you you're not you're not ready to make the decision you still got all these you still too worried about what everybody else gonna think about the decision mm -hmm. so you're not ready to make the decision i can't put a time like whether that's three months mm -hmm. six months nine months it i don't know but to me if for this particular person I can't give them a, I can't give them a ballpark figure because we're getting, we're getting real like, political, right? We're getting real Joe bro, Biden secret files right nah, now. It's the, <laughs> nah, it's the truth. Realistically, you know what I mean? A couple weeks is not enough time. But I, I mean, you know, three months, can we say three months? I mean, can you say it? Like, I, I, like you're trying to get me to say something. I gave you my answer, answer bro. Like, <laughs> yo, people out here, yeah, uh -huh. I mean, banging people for burgers, bro. What? Like, I'm sorry. Yo, because a lot of these youngins from RIP, they're not strapping up. That's that's, that's the reality. So, like, you got to figure that out because you can't, like, you may be feeling that dude, and that dude may be feeling four other chicks and two other dudes what? in this day and age. Like, you don't know. There's so much extra, you know what I mean, going on, man. That's why I say, like, I... It's got, it's a personal choice. It's always been a personal choice. Even when I was your age, it was always a, what I did, I wouldn't well, tell we're roughly the same age, bro. <laughs> well, I uh, mean, uh, we, we uh, grew up, I'm just saying. Yeah. But I mean to say like, how you, what you did. Come <laughs> on! That's facts. <laughs> All right, nah. fair enough. Where, where, nah. Where's Big Where's yeah. Big A when you need him? Because Big A, like, I know, yeah, he'll give you a straight answer. Yo, like, if, if, if the subject is anything about sex, yo, Big A's giving day day thirty nine. Like he's God, giving. Go yeah, but it's all good. Go. Let, let's say uh, Diamond from Facebook. We're just giving you the real, so we're gonna try to yeah. give you some definitive answers, but also try to help you context out. because a lot of times, you know, it's the context of why we're saying this or 
why we can't say this because it's the detail. Yeah, you know I mean, dudes, you know how dudes are, man. Dudes, yeah, yo, guys are shady when it comes to girls. Yeah, they tell you whatever you need to hear. Yo, dudes you know I mean? will tell you anything you want to hear. Which I really want. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Just, just once. You know what I mean? I don't What's like it, it. you don't like it. Yeah, you, or, know, you don't like a, it. Just for a second, then we can stop. Like, nah, bro. Like, nah. Man, listen. Word. Them two them two blue lines hit you like a peace sign. You don't have to... <laughs> Lady don't Guns is in the background it. listening. Just you giggle. Don't know it hit you. you don't know it hit you. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. We, we've got some uh, sage advice courtesy of Dab Noble. So, uh, Sean Montana, I'm going to throw this question your way. Uh, apparently, this female, this, this lady, young girl, what do you want to say? Like, she's in a relationship. She's not a fan of condoms. They've been kicking it for a couple of weeks. She wants to know when is it socially acceptable to stop strapping up? What do you suggest? Y'all just been together two weeks and you're already fucking. But anyway, um, right, so um, y'all, y'all know me. Y'all know that I don't give the cool answer. I give the answer that I feel is right at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm also a father of a daughter. You know, uh, Tommy, you know, a lot of us here pretty much like we we're parents to young females that we care about. So I'm going to give Diamond the answer that I would give, you know, my daughter. Um Sex period complicates things. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like your feelings are gonna get involved in, you know, stuff. You're already smashing. You're using condoms. You're not a fan of condoms. I think Dab said something extremely, extremely profound when he first started speaking on the subject. He said, if you could see this dude, if you could have a if you feel that you could have a child with this dude, that's when you can start. You know what I'm saying? You know, taking off the condoms. You know Come what I'm saying? On. And there's no time frame on it. I can't tell you. You got to tell yourself. You got to gauge it yourself. But don't gauge it off of simply what he tells you. Gauge it mm-hmm. off of what he shows you. You know what I'm saying? Because like we, like like, like you and Dad said, like dudes to say whatever they, they got to say to get the box. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, very few men like, like y'all, great big brothers, is willing to put a ring on it. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, like, if, if the dude, if you see yourself marrying this dude, then yeah, go go for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if, if you're at that, you know, if you're just now, like, two weeks into the relationship, I, I wouldn't say it's no time soon. Take off the rubbers, because... You know, did y'all go to the doctor? Like, do, do you know he got a, a, a STD? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we got to factor in a lot of things. And there's no time frame I could put on it. You know what I'm saying? Some people, when you know, you know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, some, some people really like, like, yo, this is the person I want to be with. I want to commit to this person. I can't put a time frame on it. But when, when you pull, when you start doing it, without uh, a condom. <laughs> I know Big A. <laughs> he just walked in on, on the, on the uh, oh, conversation. Oh, shit. Pause. <laughs> oh. I said I walked in on the conversation, bro. There's no pause. There's no pause. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, hey, but, um, we got a question for you, Bashai. I'm listening. Yeah, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? When, when you start, like, doing that, like, you know, you, you got to be sure that this is your person. This is the person you're going to marry. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like that's a big step. You know what I mean? Because even, even with a condom, to me, is a big step. You know what I'm saying? But I'm old school. I believe, you know, you should at least get a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Before you start smashing. You know what I mean? But that's just me. We're, you know, I'm, I'm older. Have, you know, uh, I've been taught a certain way through life and, you know, whatever, but um, at the very least, just like Dad said, can you see this man really fathering a child and, and stepping up and doing what he's supposed to do for that child? If the answer is no, until until that becomes a yes, don't take off the condom. 
That's it. Okay. Yo, you guys are some good, yo, you, you guys are some good brothers, man. You give us some great advice. You got, I'm proud of you, right? I'm I'm proud to be friends with you guys right now. Oh my gosh. Now let's give the question to Big A. <laughs> <laughs> so Big A, you you weren't so, here. You just so hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we start, do you want the honest answer? Yes, or you want yes. Me a good answer. These dudes is real Joe Biden right now, bro. I, I need some. Uh, I need a Donald Trump answer right now. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, we, got, we got ratings okay. again. Nah, but um, I mean, nah, we play. I mean, you, you know what it is. Like they they gave some great advice. We want to give you all the different aspects and the different, you know, pros and cons and just points of view. So we also we want to give you that wisdom. Before we get into the ratchet shit, uh, uh, <laughs> so now we about to get to now. Nah, so, but big A. So, so let me give you the question. Um, this is uh, we're doing another segment of Ask the Goodfellas, and for some reason they always ask us for relationship shit. I don't know why, but you know. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read you what um what the lady wrote. I'm By gonna way, ask exactly. Uh, I need the right. Randy Savage answer to this question. You see my shirt? It's called what? Seven yeah. So, hey, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, this is from Diamond. She Diamond. says, so I've been kicking it with this dude for a few weeks now. I'm not a fan of condoms, and of course, neither is he. How long do you guys think is safe and socially acceptable to wait before we stop using condoms altogether? What do you guys think? Okay. I'm gonna answer it in two ways. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna answer Please, it. Please, Randy two Savage. Ways. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna answer it uh, a political way and I'm gonna answer it mm. hood way. I'm gonna answer, give you two answers. Okay, Diamond. So let's go with the hood way first. Please. All right. So, no, no, no. Political way. Political way. Okay. All, right, all right. Let's be responsible. We're all adults mm. here. So I'm assuming that she's an adult because. We don't want to give bad advice to him. Yeah, yeah, and, and and this is her dude. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. They've only been for a few weeks, but like this is her dude. It's her dude. Okay. Yeah. And she's sure that this is her dude. That's the first question. Is anybody ever sure that anybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's we'll see. Let's we'll see. You, you gotta have some type of. Uh, let's assume that this is ability. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah. assume that this is her dude. Okay, so if this is her dude, first thing, if you both know y'all like raw dog, um, just go get tested together. Simple mm -hmm. as that. Go get tested together. You get tested together. You get your test and then smash every goddamn way you can. I mean, smash after a party, smash in the mm -hmm. bathroom, smash wherever you goddamn can. Smash in the car. Like, I'm, I'm going to be Dr. Seuss with it. Smash in the car. Smash very far. Smash where you want to. <laughs> smash where you're supposed to. Have fun. Smash, Thank you, Dr. Smash. Seuss. <laughs> smash and make sure he's I was thinking the same thing as doing Dr. Seuss. <laughs> smash and smash away. Mm -hmm. Just make sure he don't skeet skeet in you because you don't know if he got you. <laughs> Let's just this is where the pullout game becomes pull real important. Yes, 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 yes. Um, when I put my business out there, yes, <laughs> yes, it's right. There. <laughs> uh -huh. So, I mean, safely, you 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 want to be safe. You don't know. Um, if he's clapping cheeks on the other side, if he still has a side hole, because I guarantee you, if he's messing with you, he's got side holes. He's got a side hole. Damn, he's got, damn, he's, Diamond. He's got, he's got <laughs> damn, a side bro. hole. He's got Perhaps a side it's hole. your nickname. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a side hole that's mm -hmm. ready to top him off at any given moment, especially especially now people know he has a girl. That's when the poom poom gets thrown extra at guys. When, they, when women find out, oh, okay. So I can give him some, and I don't have to stick around. Hmm. They, they'd be more attractive. So you got to be careful about that. That's the real thing. When people, when women, it's, it's the oddest thing. I talk to a lot of my male friends, and that's the one thing unanimous that a lot of them agree with. Uh, not just the good fellas. That uh, when you're in a relationship, and they know it's committed and it's serious, women <laughs> like they they'll risk it all. They'll risk it all to give give you them draws. Empty the clip. What time they, uh, they'll risk it all to give you them draws, and. I was just talking to a, a female co-worker of mine. She was like, yeah, she admitted. She's like, yeah, women can be savages. And I was right. like, whoa. And like, you know, it's usually the ones you least expect that are the, the most ruthless and savages and slutty that you would never expect. It's like the small, the, the cute ones that was always smiling. Uh -huh. And they'd be the ones like, put it on my face. Like, so. <laughs>
defense. <laughs> like we said, Randy Savage in the building. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is exactly what this guy wanted, yo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Listen, I'm being, hey, I'm being honest. I told you I'll be political and I'm giving you the truth. Like, this is the real, is the real. Yeah. So, Make sure he ain't got no more of these holes. Uh, at least make sure that you know some of his holes or have some background some of, check. Of just some. Just some now. Some of his holes. <laughs> he ain't going to find all his holes. That's a guarantee. Ain't no dude, unless he is soft, he's going to give up all his holes. I guarantee you that. That's something I'll guarantee. Anybody beg to differ here? Well, okay, the ring exactly. begs to differ. It, 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 it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Unless you're married, so... There you go. Uh -huh. yeah. Beyonce said it best. If you like it, you put a ring on it. Uh, uh, so, uh, you know, uh, so. you know, for those that are married here, salute to you. Uh -huh. uh, I'm still single. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he will put it on your face for ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good aim, by the way. Uh, <laughs> 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 but, you know, but, you know, above all, above all, Mm -hmm. You know, all jokes aside, you really want to make sure that this is somebody you really want to deal with. And like I said, it's the safest thing you could do when y'all start clapping, you know, when you're about to clap like this. If you feel like you're going to do it without condoms, just go get tested together. Just, yeah. make, it, just make it real safe where there is no questions about anything. I mean, you know, uh, what was to it? Be, uh, to be honest, baby, baby a lot face? of females don't like condoms. I'm just going to let's keep it on. Well, you know, a lot of females are like, good job, Tommy. Um, in the, in, the, in the old song, <laughs> uh, Babyface, he said, in the heat of the moment, you got to be careful in the heat of the moment because you can have slip ups. That's how people have babies that they don't right. with somebody that they don't want to have babies with. So, word to just... the legendary poet, Babyface. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's what's up, yo, Big A. What's up? Amazing. That's that's a that's that's. I mean, we all have real answers, but we we uh we want to hit you with all levels of honesty, you know, because the people that watch this show they're anywhere from our age, maybe even older, to Younger. teenagers. And as mm -hmm. we were talking about before, our generation and how we were raised compared to like this newer generation, like there's a try. I mean, I don't know why, but like they they be reckless. So you know, we we got to have different you know different levels as as we speak so i appreciate your answer no problem brother yeah yo, yo i'm glad to be here amongst the good fellas too I didn't absolutely have so, savage as fuck <laughs> <laughs> yo what's going on everybody it's your boy tommy gunn so you know we was kicking a lot of knowledge and all that and you know i'm gonna I'm kick some knowledge but you know i want to i want to just bring it down on a relatable level and i'm definitely going to try to throw some time you know because this is what you really want you want some time frame information you know what i'm saying so first things first uh from what i'm gathering diamond you're uh with your dude and this is your dude and you just started kicking it so this is very important if it's somebody that you can see yourself being with like this is who i'm with long term that's important because if you just like i said you know if you just got holes on deck strap up if your relationship if you're thinking relationship long term now you can start thinking like all right cool you know one day i want we want to take it to this level so that's very important so we gotta get that out the way let's assume that you're in a long-term relationship and you want to be with this dude so we're gonna assume that second thing and this is, might be one of the most important it's all about the pullout game because <laughs> Let's keep it a hundred. If you messing with the wrong type of dude and the pullout game ain't strong, it's a wrap. And this is just something you're just gonna have to learn by just you know just dealing with him. So for the moment, like I said, like definitely strap up for a while. But let's be realistic. We you know we talk all this good shit sometimes, but I, I know for a fact a lot of females do not like condoms. A lot of dudes don't even like condoms. But let's just give it a hundred. Like you know what I mean. And in this new generation. For some weird reason, it's not as big a deal to them. You can tell the game's all fucked up because how the fuck does monkeypox become a thing in 2022-23? That's how do you get some too, shit? That's crazy. From fucking Africa called monkeypox, and that was strictly for people fucking. So it's like you gotta. Back in our day, it was like yo AIDS, HIV, whatever, which is scary. Not to mention the other STDs, but in 2020-23. They got all types of new shit, man. Like, you don't know what people got. So you got to be careful. 
However, assuming that whoever you're with, you trust them. It's all about trust. If you trust them, then I'm going to throw some ballpark numbers out there. I would say, um, from my experiences, Lady Guns is just can't wait for this answer, but <laughs> there's been times it's been anywhere from like a month to six to three months to six months. It depends, first of all, how old I was, you know, who the female was, the situation, and of course, the pullout game is legendary. Come on! So, you know what I mean? So you gotta, but that that just comes over time of just knowing you. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, Yo, matter of fact, like I said, and, and this is funny, right? Um, I love my daughter to death. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm married, kids, you know what I mean? Love them to death. But it was only when I started fucking with science that I ended up having a kid. Before that, I was all good. I decided to be a responsible parent. Like, yeah, let's get on the pill. Like, yeah, let's let's do it the right way. Let's trust science, man. Never. Nine science. months later, hey Savannah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know. So, what I want to say is, even science ain't certain. So, you know what I mean? You gotta. You. It's all about trust. Is this who you're gonna be with? Do you trust that you're their only one? If they, if you think they got hoses, it's a wrap. I'm, I'm not condoning just let's just spread monkeypox around the world. But if it's somebody you know, it's exclusively you and them, you trust them. This is wifey, or in your case, whatever you know what I mean. And this is who I'm gonna be with. Yo, it could be any time after a month. I know that sounds crazy, you know. I, I would go for the. I would. I would recommend three months. That's the safe answer, but. At any day, longer you guys, if you're dating Nick Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's all about you, and you gotta trust the dude because if you have questions on the pullout game, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Like that just goes with, and you won't find that out until you know who you're with and you've been together. And you, you know what I mean? Because trust me, dudes will tell you anything you wanna hear. But you keep it all the way a buck. So you got if you trust this dude. If you trust when that time comes that, well, need I say more? <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's all about trust. If you trust that he can handle his part of this grown folks business, hey, just try to wait a month. That's what I suggest. I don't feel like you can really know anybody sexually earlier than a month. Or unless you just, you know what I mean? You know. I, you that, I, I agree on. Yeah. And, unless it's just spontaneous and even that, if you're gonna be spontaneous, be be responsible and yeah. like strap up. Like if you can't wait the month, or just just being realistic. If you can't wait the <laughs> month, like put just just protect yourself, man. Like, yeah. Like all you, you brought aside, up a good point. Yourself. Get tested. Get tested together. Yeah. Or at least make her get tested. And if she's all right, then you in there. Like you know what I mean? But <laughs> you know what I mean? So you know, like one, one way or the other, make sure somebody get tested. That tells and more than likely they probably already smash raw because no, nobody. Yeah, th nobody. The only question is, down. shall we continue? Yeah. Come on! <laughs> Pretty much the only question. <laughs> well, Diamond, hopefully we've been able to answer your question. You've had a different perspective from all the good fellas. We try to give it to you from just different points of view, and hopefully you can make the right decision well we already know you smash your roll come on let's keep it on it but hopefully from this point on like you can make the right decision hopefully dudes pull out game is strong may the odds be in your favor and uh i think on behalf of the good fellas i feel like we've answered this question so shout out to diamond and shout out to everybody tuned in right now to the recap with the good fellas show remember ask the good fellas it doesn't have to be relationships although for some reason you guys trust us with your relationship advice which is kind of scary in itself but yo if you want to get into photography holla at us you want to get into the record biz holla at us blogging i don't know like the, 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 we we have so much knowledge and expertise in so many categories that pretty much whatever question you got send it to the good fellas and we will give you the answer that you need <laughs>